Cosmic Story Day, an enlightening series organized by the Science Association of Royal College. In today's conversation, Professor Sukhma Sonnandre is joined with us to share his thoughts about the science faculty. He is currently working as the Dean of the esteemed Science Faculty of Colombia University. Join us as we embark on a journey to the heart of science faculty, guided by the wisdom and the vision of Professor Sukhma Sonnandre. Let's get into the science faculty and meet up with you. from Professor Pukul Sonnathera. Thank you for joining with us today. Can you start by telling our audience a bit about your professional background and expertise? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, professional background, when you look at, of course, it comes with my education. So, uh, uh, I'm a physicist. So, I was trained in US. And uh, so, um, I'm come from Moratua. And uh, I went to Prince of Wales initially. And then uh, I went to Nalanta to do uh, A-levels. So, uh, uh, I was quite good in maths and physics actually. So, uh, naturally, when you do well in the university, uh, those days, uh, uh, they took a very small number of students to uh, uh, for higher studies yes. or even to specialize in physics. So I think our batch, uh, we had about seven. And so, I was one of them. Uh, I think I was the best of that time. So I went to US and then uh, I got the training there. I did uh, nuclear and particle physics. Yes. So my training is in nuclear and particle physics. Yes. So uh, when you as a, a professional, of course, the, uh, I'm an academic. Academic and uh, so you tend to do research. Yes, sir. Wonderful, sir. Can you mention some of the responsibilities and challenges of being a dean? Uh, dean, mostly you are supposed to work with the uh, full faculty. So our faculty is quite large. Now, if you look at the science faculty, we have about 120 PhDs here. So you, and there are seven departments. So you are supposed to work with each and every department equally. So that one challenge is that you cannot be unfair to anybody. You need to treat everybody equal because I'm coming from physics. Doesn't mean that you know that I can. Uh, I have to treat everybody equally. Yes. So the second challenge would be actually working with people. So no, normally in academics, uh, not like uh, uh, companies, uh, we all at the same level. So even our promotions, if you look at uh, administrative, the dean is administrative uh, line. The professor and uh, associate professor, those are academic line. So there are two lines. So one line you can go with your research and other things you can go up in one line. Other line, uh, academic uh, administrative line, there are only few uh, head dean and vice chancellor so those are the three steps but generally unlike companies once i finish my term uh, we have fixed terms once i finish my term i go back to the department so the, the challenge is actually keep the faculty happy and make sure that uh, we have a conducive environment for the academics to work okay sir what are the academic and research priorities of this faculty uh, research priorities, I guess the uh, over the years things are changing because if you look at the Colombo Science Faculty, it's 100 years old now. We have been teaching uh, in this location uh, uh, science for 100 years now. Uh, 2021, we actually we had the centenary. So uh, over the years things were changing. So earlier uh, we saw a system where uh, a very limited number of stu uh, students, we gave specialized degrees and almost everybody went abroad including myself and then uh, only maybe five percent came back to serve the country and others stayed back so even now if you look at a large number uh, from that uh, small quota they tend to go uh, but uh, uh, 2020 we did uh, reform in the curriculum 
we expanded our research degrees and we have two types of uh, four year degrees called one is a research line and the other one is the industry line so uh, then people can go into uh, get the specialization and uh, work in the industry so through that uh, we have expanded our curriculum quite a bit so i think uh, colombo science is the one having the most diverse curriculum we have 30 odd uh, specializations now compared to those days and also students coming to the faculty uh, 75 to 80 percent of the students are now can do four year degrees which is the requirement in the industry and outside also so still large number uh, those who are doing specialized degrees in uh, research oriented degrees they tend to go out but uh, we have another uh, set of specialization to support the local industry so that's a major shift in the curriculum compared to uh, while back uh, the time we were here yes, that's really impressive sir so can you discuss any recent development or initiatives in this faculty sir i guess the initiative there are a couple of initiatives i can uh, mention now uh, uh, when you really look at university education uh, at the end of it you should be able to get a job so uh, that means uh, career guidance is very one of the important things so now we have a career guidance unit in the faculty so that was uh, uh, introduced uh, many many years back uh, maybe uh, 20 to 25 20 years back so that is functioning very well that's where we actually give internships for students to go out once you get the degree or before getting the degree uh, six months they go for internships then actually they can learn what the industry is doing and get that training that was one of the changes i can highlight then there's another change we have done uh, very often you will find that the uh, government is always telling uh, university research how can the industry use the research so we don't have a proper mechanism to do it but uh, b- what we have done is colombo we have introduced uh, university of colombo uh, in the cell so th- that's uh, to commercialize the products so the, we have a, a separate uh, uh, establishment here where uh, industries can actually come to them and uh, they can tell their problems or the problem they are facing and uh, we will connect the relevant researchers to work on the problem so industry can actually support the research and we will do the research and final product they can use for example this bio cleaner that is in the market today actually that is a product from colombo that research was done in colombo and uh, uh, the company actually can get benefit that way so we have number of projects with marks holdings and some of the banks and other things so it's expanding now that's wonderful professor Nowadays, a problem most of the ALO students that are studying on the science section assume that they have is they think there is no other option or a career if they didn't get into medical faculty or engineering faculty. What are your thoughts on that? Well, that was there even the time I I was when I was your age. So my mother, uh, maybe uh, even after I became a professor in physics, maybe she still may have thought that maybe I should have done engineering because I was good in maths and physics. So uh, that is actually misconception. because the uh, it doesn't mean that if you do engineering and medicine actually your life is better that's for sure because there are some professional degrees so you tend to become engineer or tend to become a, a medical doctor but the thing is that uh, if you do a science uh, one actually opportunities are much more they are not narrowed down to certain area because you can uh, go from banks to uh, uh, to becoming a a uh, uh, full time researcher you can do it you can join the academia so opportunities are much more when you do sciences and some of the areas like computer science as you, as you know the chat gpt and ai revolutions you can find that those who are doing computer science is doing very well now uh, my my own kids they, they are actually now uh, my daughter did the engineering degree my son did the statistics one both are now going into software industry because the there are lucrative jobs are available and the future is uh, when you look at it uh, the software will take up quite a bit of uh, um, uh, opportunities you have there so uh, becoming uh, 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 i'm saying that uh, science degree is quite important because uh, this logical thinking is coming from science so i used to tell my uh, my own students actually we have number of things like uh, we encourage uh, uh, students to uh, in, uh, engage in sports actually in sports you learn certain skills like uh, to work with a team uh, to win something which is uh, maybe good in marketing and other companies that uh, those skills are important how to work with win a team and all that so uh, uh, mathematics some some of the things we teach here you may not use in your life 
when you go out and do maybe let's say even a banking area but uh, there we train the logical thinking so actually these skills are important which will stay with your whole life so if you look at uh, science graduate and other graduates come from different areas you will uh, see that they are different actually so those are some of the things but uh, uh, I w- what i want to say is that uh, it is true that people thinking that engineering and uh, medicine uh, you need to do because of the, the situation here but there are many opportunities outside so why it's like a global village today you don't have to think about actually working in sri lanka itself this is important if you are working in sri lanka but if you go out the students who are doing very well they actually uh, some of them go, don't go to engineering or medicine they do other things even in colombo every year we get certain number of students who are dropping engineering and medicine and coming here to become scientists so right throughout we had that so they they have actually uh, uh, they know about the system and they have a, a goal what you want to do the second important thing is that when you are selecting areas i think it is quite important that uh, uh, now some so, sometimes uh, uh, you need to do what you are comfortable with so what you are good at but uh, on the other hand uh, you also need to think about the uh, job market also i can give a good example from physics now uh, astronomy for example lot of students are interested in astronomy but are there jobs now sri lanka you can't find a decent job in astronomy but even outside i know some of my friends who have done astronomy it is a difficult to find a good job so opportunities are there but limited so i think uh, these are the things uh, young student need to think uh, although they like certain area of course astronomy you can read books participate in workshops and learn astronomy but uh, that skill may not be useful for uh, many industries so then uh, that's why you need to start thinking about okay professor what are the facilities provided by the science faculty on this matter uh, science of course uh, our faculty is quite large i mentioned earlier also so we have seven departments uh, we are like a traditional faculty we have for physical sciences we have physics um, statistics and mathematics and then uh, biological sciences we have uh, mostly uh, uh, plant science uh, zoology and then uh, chemistry but chemistry is actually common subject for physical and uh, biological but i find that uh, now a very small number of students coming from physical science tend to do um, chemistry so when they come after a levels uh, we have uh, actually uh, uh, from this year we have five intakes uh, physical science biological science then we have a uh, two new intake which is industrial statistics and mathematical finance then we have biochemistry and molecular biology stream yes. and also we have uh, uh, i forgot the name also but it is to radiographers yes that area so uh, that we just introduced this year so uh, that is available for biological science that particular one uh, but uh, those four intakes uh, we have 30 odd uh, specialized degrees and uh, so there are uh, seven departments in the faculty there's another department called nuclear science that's a smaller unit that's the one uh, uh, the other ones offer in this uh, medical imaging technologies degree so uh, so we have uh, those opportunities available plus uh, uh, if you look at many of the science faculties i think if you want to do science you should be in colombo because uh, our uh, you need to look at the facilities we have so each department you have a separate building and then we have 120 academic staff members at the moment but we can go up to 160 of the positions uh, then uh, most of the staff members are uh, foreign qualified ones like uh, us or uk uh, qualified people and um, also our uh, now uh, we are about if you look at our uh, uh, intake we take now 700 students uh, for the science faculty for a year and uh, we have about 400 uh, master students we conduct uh, programs on saturdays then we have external degree which uh, if you don't get the uh, uh, a level resource to come into colombo uh, through the free education but if you can afford to pay we have six uh, disciplines where they can pay and come so that intake this year going to be similar to i think uh, intake will be around 600 this year so that opportunity is also there because i can remember when we were uh, in the university our days uh, there are, were no private universities either you get selected to state university 
or after that uh, if you don't get selected there's no higher education for you you have to go abroad but uh, today's situation is different you can find many uh, private universities are there and the Columbia University itself now we are offering I think we are the only university offering the science degrees at the moment external degrees where a student can come Sundays and follow classes so while following it they can do a job five days so that uh, there's a huge demand for that and uh, so we are offering that also and then we have our uh, postgraduate level uh, above MSCs. We have about 150 students at the moment doing MPhils and PhDs in Colombo. So we have a lot of opportunities if somebody wants to get a higher education. Yes, sir. That's a very valuable information, sir, given. And finally, as a last question, sir, can you give a small advice to the Airwell students that are willing to come to university? Yeah, I think uh, very often, uh, uh, I mean, when you are doing A level, you become a young adult basically after 18 you are an adult basically so but sometimes it's good to learn but you are skilled at so sometimes parents push you to do things that uh, you are not skilled at then you get uh, and you are not interested uh, I have come across actually even a medical doctor uh, he is interested in IT not in medicine so there are uh, students like that so but I think uh, uh, A level student but I can tell is uh, if they are they should first understand where their skills are and what they are good at so we were fortunate because i was good in maths and physics so when i came to university that those were the subjects i selected so i could go up in that ladder but uh, uh, i think these are the things uh, a level student should think and uh, do what you're happy uh, i mean uh, you should be happy in your life yes sir. so you should select an area where you are good at then you will excel in that area Thank you for your insights, Professor Kul Nadere. It's been a pleasure discussing your work and expertise with you today, sir. So, thank you very much and uh, uh, I'm glad that you all came here. So, it's uh, quite important that uh, the work you all are doing, uh, uh, Royal College uh, Science Association, because uh, I think A-level students, uh, one issue is that uh, they may not know when they do the A-levels, what are the universities uh, they need to select and what are the options they have and the opportunities they have. So I think uh, uh, I should thank uh, uh, Royal College Science Association for coming here and actually doing this work. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. And also for the viewers of this video series, thank you for joining with us today. Hope you had a wonderful time with us in the Epistemics 23 organized by the Royal College Science Association. Till we meet again. Yeah, 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 yeah.